Eastern Yellow Jacket nests. That one goes up underneath the bush. And then this one goes up underneath this flowering little bush here. Kind of see the hole back in there. Got envelope all over the ground. All right, so this nest here um, actually had two nests side by side. They're about seven feet apart, and this one they were super super active they were swarming before I even got started so um, use a little black flag just to batten down the numbers a little bit but it, it hardly does anything with these guys they're they were just you can see they were practically all over me I got stung three times on uh, doing this particular removal on two on this nest here and then one on the nest next door and all three stings are right on my right knee. My right knee, even right now, is just absolutely throbbing. And it's like, it's been 12 hours. So, first things first. Uh, that bush just needed to be not in my way. So, um, I just staked it up using a couple pry bars. Rat-a-tat-tat on the top. And uh, get them pushed out of the way. Work like a charm. Alright, so if you notice with these two um, ground nests, that this type of species, this isn't an eastern yellow jacket, which is what I usually show you guys as far as um, in ground nest building yellow jackets. These guys are a heck of a lot more aggressive. Um, this is a southern yellow jacket, Vespula squamosa. And they are super, super aggressive. Um, when they, when they um, attack, they latch on. They don't dive bomb like um, German yellow jackets or um, bald-faced hornets they latch on and do not let go and I mean I've, I've had them latched on me and I spray them with the um, black flag and they actually die in the stinging position they'll just they'll just maintain that stinging position and keep trying to sting until they're dead and they no longer can sting um, so um, there are a lot in this nest. The, the, both of these nests are actually absolutely humongous. Um, I have never seen a ground nest this big. On, for me, they're one of them. Um, typically, eastern yellow jackets make um, nest size about the size of like a miniature basketball. But these ones were about the size of an actual basketball. I mean, I couldn't believe the, the, the amount of excavation they had to have done to get that out of there. Or to get that... Um, nest to be that size. A couple tells about um, telltales about this particular species is at the entranceway they, they actually paper envelope the the hole. Um, Eastern yellow jackets don't do that. They pretty much just you know widen a dirt hole and that's about it. But these guys will actually paper envelope the inside of the hole. So I had to use a bit more black flag on these guys than what I normally do. Um, they were just, I mean, I was actually pulling weeds to try to get to the area and they were coming out of the root holes from the weed pulling. And like, there's just no way to keep track of all those holes. Like here, you'll notice like I start to pull, out, um, pull away some of the soil and they just come out of like every little orifice in the side of this thing. And um, and before I get asked in the comments about the black flag and the comb and feeding it to the girls, two things. One, when I'm spraying this, I'm not saturating the comb. Yes, I said comb. Wink, wink. Um, 
it might be landing on the bottom of the comb here, but it's not getting on the larva. The girls aren't going to eat that. Um, and they are really sensitive to smell, the girls. And um, this has a, a, a fragrance to it. They actually put like a um, some sort of fragrant um, chemical in there and gives it kind of an appealing smell. Um, and the girls don't like it. I did actually did a little test with it, and they won't eat anything that has that smell to it. So, um, not that I try to get them to eat it, but I just try to see if they would go after something they normally like, like a little bit of crumb, and um, and they didn't seem interested at all, even though it looked like something that they wanted to eat. So I don't like to just dig up the nest and have a huge heavy swarm because that's just like virtually impossible to um, to batten down. So I like to just do a little bit by little bit, open up a little bit here and there and let some adults come out of the holes as they may and then I just get them with the vacuum and then if, it, if I miss them with the vacuum then I just use a little bit of the black flag. And these guys, when they fly out of the hole, um, Holy crap. when they fly out, they swarm a little bit, um, but they typically try to latch on. So, unlike German yellow jacks, where they fly out, they kind of dive bomb you, and then they fly back to the to the nest, or if it's inside of a house or something, they fly back to they fly to a window um, to try to familiarize themselves with where they are, but. These guys pretty much just, would just swarm around me the entire time. They'd just like circle me and circle me and then they'd land and they'd latch and then I'd spray them and then they'd die and then I'd suck them up. And it was just like that process over and over and over again. Until that one got my knee. I, I couldn't find the shot on here um, when they hit me during this nest. I have it on the other one. Um, my exclamation. But um... Yeah, um, the knee, my knee meat, it's really, really sensitive. I mean, and, and the reason why they even got me through the suit is because I was kneeling and the fabric was pulled taut against my knee. And um, and when they fly out, they, they really, they, man, they just kind of like fumble out, but they, they find the first thing that they can to latch onto, and that's what they hit. And, man, I, and I watched the one go right to my knee on, on this nest. And I was like, man, I was so frustrated. I was like, man, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Like, <laughs> um, see, so yeah, look at the size of this thing. That is humongous. So is that branch. Get the branch out of the way, doofus. This is why Ginger calls me a ninny. I can just tell by her voice if that's what she's calling me. So yeah, that's a that's a good size freaking nest. I, I I've never seen one this big or the like the other one that I'm about to show you. I've never seen any ground nest that big. I mean that's like that's almost the size of a bald faced hornet nest, like comb on the inside. Maybe it, actually it could be a little bit bigger as far as number of cells. Um, I don't know that it's bigger as far as mass is concerned, but. But those are all queen cells that you see there. They're all larger cells in the front. And this is in the hole. And it's a little bit shaky, but I was trying to get the swarm down while I was doing this. And the reason why you see all those stones there is because as they excavate the soil, they can pull out the soil, but they can't pull out the stones. So the stones just keep falling down to the bottom of the pit until they build the nest, and then that's as far as down as they can go, and then they start expanding outward. So this is the second nest. I was pretty happy with this shot. I love being able to see that paper. Look at that. It's just wild. And those pebbles, they pulled those pebbles out. That They were down in the hole. Those were ones they were able to get out of the hole. Isn't that incredible? Like, they're able to carry those out. I mean, that's like me carrying a freaking boulder. I mean, I can, but I just won't do it on camera. Little antenna sticking up out of the hole. It almost looks like I'm photoshopping this because they, they start to crawl out and then once they get sucked up, they just disappear. Like they're, it, like, it, I've even tried to slow this down so I could see them get sucked up and I can't slow it down slow enough to where it's not blurry and grainy to where you actually see them go into the nozzle. That image is fantastic. I love this camera. 
This camera's great. Most of these shots are in 4K. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching in 4K. So you get the full experience if you are. Um, this is a Canon Vixia camcorder. People ask me in the comments what kind of camera I use. And it has HD um, 4K quality capability. I don't always use the 4K because sometimes I like to shoot in a higher frame rate as opposed to a higher uh, megabytes per second. So this is 160 megabytes per second and it's in 4K. Uh, it's, just, it's a lower frame rate. I think it's 30, 30 and a half frame rate. Bleep, bleep. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, that hurt because I'd already gotten stung twice in that right knee and then one freaking came out. I swear to God, I was in the, almost in the exact same spot and my knee meat was already swollen. It was already sore and throbbing and then when it hit me again, oh my God, like I had to like go up to the truck and just like sit there for a few minutes and drink some water. It was just like, man, it hurt so bad. I don't know, I've been stung by bald-faced hornets, and I thought they were really bad, but I think these guys might take the cake as far as uh, pain's concerned. Of course, it's not a, you know, it's not really a true test because um, I was already, my knee was already compromised from a few days back. I got stung on the side of my knee, and uh, so coupled with getting stung directly on my knee, and then 20 minutes later getting stung again in the same spot, so of course it's going to feel horrible and feel worse than any other experience. So the same process here, just taking my time, suck them up as I have to, enduring pain. <laughs> I show you my knee at the end, how swollen it is compared to my left knee. Always trying to knock on the door, try to get people to come up, and uh, eventually they do. It takes a few knocks sometimes, but eventually they come out. Not the best angle for this, but when you're in the midst of a removal, honestly the last thing you're really thinking about is what position the camera's in when you're trying to do a, a difficult task, like picking up an entire nest and hoping that what comes out of there isn't going to sting the crap out of you. Find a weakness. Look at the size of that thing. That is humongous. This one's shape, uh, shaped a little different than a perfect like sphere because they had um, some roots to contend with and a bunch of stones. So this is after I got it home. And I just had to vacuum up a few of the uh, few of the adults, and um, just trying to make sure that there's nobody in there that's going to come out and sting the crap out of me. And I found the queen there in the bottom right corner. She's the one on top, floating around. That's the queen. There she is in all her glory. And compare her with a, a couple males and some workers. Males have the really long abdomens. The queen has a long abdomen too, but hers is just large and robust. Not so much an extra segment. Males have extra segments to their abdomens, and that's why they look longer. Because they are longer. And they're not spazzing because of the black flag. They're spazzing because it was really hot in that bin. And I went to, right to another removal right after this, or right after that one. And uh, so they were compromised due to the heat. And people are going to ask, what am I going to do with that queen? There's some upcoming videos regarding all the queens to these nests. 
And that's all I'm saying about that. So if you ask in the comments what I'm, what I'm going to do with that queen, that means you skipped ahead and you didn't hear what I just said. <laughs> This is the nest. Look how huge that thing is. This is an in-ground nest. It's like perfect. Look how perfect those hexagonal cells are. Another massive in ground nest. Ginger's ready to eat it, that's for sure. size of this thing. So these are all queen cells. See the difference in size? This is queen cell, this is worker cell. The smaller the comb cells, the smaller the adult. These have like these rocks mixed in. They build around the rocks. Look at that. That's a rock. It's crazy. There's even a little stem on there, a little support structure. <laughs> it's awesome. There's a new queen. Another rock. It's got two support structures on it. All right, these girls are going nuts. They're ready to eat something. Let's feed the girls. I'll come back to this one. Same species. This one has, these are all queen cells. I need to get my pry bar. 
This works so good for this. Queen cell. More queen cell. Okay, that's the difference between queen cell and worker cell. Alright, so this is the difference. Queen cell, worker cell. Look how smaller the queen cell, sorry, worker cell is compared to the queen cell. This is backwards, I'm sorry, this is hard to do. <laughs> Look at that, there's a root. They built around a root inside the ground as they were excavating. That is really cool. <laughs> Check out the root. <laughs> they built around that root while they were excavating. If you look close enough in there in some of those cells, there's actually three eggs. Somebody wants to get sprayed. Go ahead, come back over. Happy to spray you. Inside there are some, are three eggs, or several eggs. All right, let's give them to the girls. Well, some of them to the girls. You go. Your pigeon. Your pigeon. Angel. Don't get ripped on me. Don't get ripped. Please. Hang it over here. Hang it over here. Pigeon's still in her molting stage. Keep molting, girlfriend. You'll have pretty feathers when you're done.
Your pigeon. But you guys don't eat the, the possum will eat. Here's my swallowed up knee. I got stung three times in the knee today. Once here, once here, once here, and then this is a sting from two days ago. And then my ankle swallowed up because I got stung back here. So my right leg has got, I mean, look how swollen my ankle is. And my upper thigh, and now I'm bearing some serious upper thigh for you guys. But I wanted to show you guys how I got stung in the knee meat. It's pretty hellacious. Alright guys, 
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you're a new subscriber, thanks so much for joining this uh, Hornet King channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I've got new content coming out all the time. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for tuning in to check out my videos and supporting my channel. I'll catch you guys on the next video.